Beloved, we gather here today to seal the union of Whitney and Damien, two kindred spirits whose serpentine fires have been blazing together for roughly three calendar years of time, give or take. However they hold this truth to be self-evident, theirs is the kind of love that transcends time and space. Over oceans, under fire, around mountains, above the air, across time zones, in and out of combat zones, and through a once-in-a-lifetime pandemic. You could say the strength of their true love was written in the stone. It is fitting that these two souls, soulmates, are both Air Force, because evidently this covenant is a force of nature. Fittingly, we find ourselves gathered here this summer evening, the 12th of September, one day after September 11th, which is a holy day of remembrance for many, some who lost and some who found themselves rising from those ashes to raise their hands and serve. You could say September 12th was the beginning of the healing, the first earth tones of atonement and grace. In many spiritual circles, the number 12 represents, among other things, completeness. So 12 months of the year, 12 hours on the clock, 12 tribes of Israel, 12 signs of the zodiac. For your situational awareness, Whitney and Damien are technically opposite sun signs. Gemini, which is air or wind, and Sagittarius, which is fire. Evidently, opposites attract and are magnetic, and perhaps they complete each other. And what more perfect date and time than September 12th, 2020? They say hindsight is 2020. For all the reasons we feared that June 20th would and did disappear, I feel like there was a whole lot of non-accidental grace anointed upon this appointed calendar space. So, let us let today be now and forever love's holiday. So welcome, loved ones. However you meet this moment, however you are connected to Whitney and Damien, whether through blood, friendship, service, work, or fun, thank you. And thank you for making time and making the journey to be part of this cloud of witnesses in the next chapter of Whitney and Damien's forever story. I invite us to all take a deep breath in and to share a brief moment of silence for all those both living and departed who are not able to be in this space visibly, but are very much visible in our minds, eyes, and ever present. In the spirit of finding, I want to lift up as a prayer these words shared by both Jewish and Christian traditions from the book Song of Songs. So I invite us all into a moment of prayer. I invite you to please look to the divine of your understanding. I sought the one my soul loves. I slept, but my heart was awake. I heard the sound of my beloved knocking, saying, Open to you, my love, my dove, my perfect one. When I found them, I held them and would not let go. My lover spoke to and said to me, I am my beloved's, my beloved is mine. The winter is past, the rains are over and gone, flowers appear on the earth, the season of singing has come. Arise, come my darling, my beautiful one, come away with me, until the day breathes and the shadows flee. How beautiful is your love, how much better is your love than wine, and the fragrance of your oils than any spice. Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm, for love is as strong as death. It burns like a blazing fire, like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love, the rivers cannot wash it away. I sought the one my soul loves. I slept, but my heart was awake. I heard the sound of my beloved knocking, saying, open to me, my love, my dove, my perfect one. And when I found them, I held them would not let go. Amen.
So let us ever remember the 12th night of September when love changed our lives forever. Blessed are the children, our children, because our true love is written in the stone.